Hey. I just thought I'd uh, get in early and see if you've heard about Xavier and Brendan yet. I'll get onto it when I get a chance. Right, well, um, do you know whether Leah and Roman are still not pressing charges? Look, you'd have to ask them. Um, Charlie, I don't want to be a nuisance, but we were told we'd hear today. Look, I know you want answers, and I'll contact you when we have them. Right now, I've got other priorities. How blind are you, Brett? I've always been gay. That's bull. The first time I ever heard about it was the night she came home with you. All right, she, she's got in your head somehow. This is why I never told you. I knew you'd react like this. She's... Brett, I've always been gay. I always will be gay. And the sooner you accept it, the better. It's in your head, Joe. If you just come home with her, get away from that cop. And all you'll be right again. This is pointless. I will never accept this, Joe. Go home, Brett. You're a joke. Joe? Get stop! Joe! Oi! What do you think you're doing, mate? Who are you? I think you should take off. You good on your hero? Uh, you no, know, that's fine. It's under control. Interesting guy. Hmm. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. It wasn't me who was harassing. It was Joey and Charlie. Did he do that? Yeah. Why? He's a homophobic jerk. Who treats her own sister like that, though? People like Brett. And you should have heard what he said about Charlie. Forget it. It doesn't matter what idiots think, Rubes. <laughs> Great. Everyone's talking about it. Only because of what he did to the car. No one's going to care about the gay part. Hey, if your sister ever wants to straighten out, could you give my number? Get a life. Maybe you could be our next girlfriend, Jai. No, oh, it's all right. Everyone knows homophobes are people who can't accept they're gay. <laughs> we'll be here for you when you come out of the closet, Trey. You still think nobody's going to care? Hey, what's the verdict? No word from the cops. I spoke to Leah. There's no pressure to lay charges from her or Roman's side, so... I can't believe they're not pushing this through for you guys. Did you ask Charlie personally? Yeah, Charlie's kind of got her hands full at the moment. Oh, look, I should have told you we're not letting him have any sticks anymore. Not after. Oh, sorry, oh, got upset Brandon. when Xavier left her for and asked for them. Uh, not, listen, you know sorry, what we Brandon. said, mate? You know what we said? Brandon about the sticks. Sticks. Can't you just let him have one? No, I can't. Do you think I like being a bad guy in this family all the time? Someone's got to do the tough stuff. So just do me a favour and stay out of it. Right, so you'd rather me not do my job? For today, at least, yeah. As embarrassing as this is, I'd like to think that you of all people would stand by me. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for giving up your time this morning. No problem at all. I'd be grateful if you could particularly emphasise the breaking of the science lab windows last holidays. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Right. Excuse me, officer. Where do we go for the lecture on modern art? What on earth are you talking about, Mr. Palmer? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just feeling a little queer. All of you get to the talk. Now, please. The Wapangashire Council spends around $50,000 every year on cleaning up graffiti and replacing damaged goods and property. Does that include cops' cars? <laughs> In addition to the economic costs, there's also the environmental and physical harms to consider. Spraying graffiti can involve chemicals that are not only harmful to the environment, but also to the perpetrators <laughs> of such illegal acts. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, well, I did have a question. Go ahead. She's hot. Would you ever consider hooking up with her, or is that an illegal act too? Farmer, <laughs> get out. <laughs> My office. I'm so stupid. I should have postponed like you said. Or at least let someone else go in my place. It wasn't that bad. It was bad enough. Ruby didn't need it, and neither did I. You know what school kids are like. Any excuse for a bit of drama and gossip, it'll be forgotten by tomorrow. At least this has come through. What is it? 
I didn't give any orders to arrest him. That was my call to make. We didn't arrest him. What was he doing here then? Filing a complaint against you. I'm sorry? He claims you used your position as a police officer to intimidate his sister and make unwelcome sexual advances towards her. I couldn't find the same washing powder, so I got the one on special instead. Fine. Look, um, I'm really sorry I bit your head off before. It's just, it's just all this waiting, it's frustrating, that's all. Apology accepted. You know, it's a pity. What is? Well, every time you show me a little glimpse under that shell of yours, you seem to clam up again. I don't do that. Yes, you do. Last night I feel like I saw the real you for about a minute. And then today you go back to being Mr. Macho. Well, it's not that bad, is it? Hugo, you seem to think that showing a softer side is some kind of weakness. That's a part of you that's really nice. I'm going to put the washing on. <laughs> Hugo loves Martha. What's that? <laughs> you got those Martha. Oh, that's pretty silly, mate. Oh, man, what a day. Hey, Vanny kid, how are you doing? You got those Martha. Oh, I, I don't know what's coming out of his head today. It's weird. Um, so is there any news? No. Are you kidding me? How long are they going to keep us sweating? Well, I guess we can't complain given how long you took before you yeah, spoke Yeah, okay. Up. You don't have to go there again. So I've made something special for dinner. You'll be around, right? Oh, look, I'm going to be at the pier until late, uh, so you don't need to cook for me. I'll give you a call if I hear about the verdict, mate. Ever get the feeling that he's trying to avoid us, buddy? This is ridiculous. According to his version of events, his sister came to the police station as a victim. I didn't even believe. And in a vulnerable state, you took an inappropriate interest in her and talked her into leaving their family home and moving in with you. The sister's gay, though, right? Yes. The complainant says that, to his knowledge, prior to his sister meeting Senior Constable Buckton, she never displayed any signs of being gay or verbalised it. Is that true? The only reason he didn't know she was gay was because she was too afraid to tell him. So it's understandable that he thinks she was straight. Whose side are you on? Is it true that you're living together and are engaged in an intimate relationship? Yes, but it's not the way Brett's painting it. I didn't take advantage of Joey, and frankly, I think this report should be shredded. No one's saying you did anything wrong, Charlie. Senior Constable. Senior Constable. But you may have crossed the line by inviting the girl to live with you while you were still investigating her case. H he threw her out. Then you should have removed yourself from the case to avoid a conflict of interest. It's a delicate situation. We have to be seen to be doing the right thing here. The right thing by who? The bottom line is, if there's a complaint being made against an officer, it has to I be... I know, I know, OK? God, this is insane. I can't believe we're even having this conversation. Take the rest of the day off. Go and see the police association. They have lawyers for this sort of thing. Look, hopefully we can talk to Joey quickly and she'll back up your side of the story and it'll all be over with quietly. Charlie, I got a call to come down. Have you arrested Brett? Joey... The... I'll deal with this. If you could accompany Constable Watson into the interview room, please. Charlie, what's going on? They're not pursuing charges against Brendan or Xavier. Thank God. I can't tell you how relieved that makes me. I'm sorry no one told you I should have given you a call. Hey, it doesn't matter, as long as it's good news. <laughs> Although I, um, I guess you had other things on your mind. You know, you could have told me earlier. 
I would have saved my ego knowing that you kept knocking me back because you were, you know, gay. I'm not gay. Okay. Look, what they're saying isn't true. This has just gotten way out of hand. Right, so... Why is that? Because people have got nothing better to do than gossip about everyone else's business. Right. What, you don't believe me? It, it wouldn't have mattered even if you were. I know what trauma is and I know what it can do to people. But I know the reason that I went blind is because something hit me in the temple. I'm so glad that you're here. You couldn't do this alone. The fact that she's seeing Joey, it doesn't bother you? That's not my business, that's Charlie's. It was torture not being able to talk to you last night. It was just a one-night thing in your mind. That's cool with me. I'd do anything to take it back. Oh, so I'm guessing you haven't told Joey your dirty little secret. If you love her so much, then how can you cheat on her? I always thought you were hot. <laughs>